Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So guys, before we start, please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get a notification for the next video. A lot of, lot of good stuff is coming and okay on this particular channel. So thank you so much. So uh, today's topic is something very interesting. You must have seen that um, I've been taking a lot of interviews and a lot of uh, mock interviews are in pipeline. Personally, I'm taking some personal interviews as well that uh, which are not coming on YouTube directly. But yeah, but I see a mistake over there. A lot of people are doing one common mistake. That is according to me. The first impression is the last impression that if someone is asking you, tell me about your current uh, project and current roles and the responsibility in terms of testing, in terms of project, what exactly you are doing. And then the typical answer that, okay, people, they start talking about their project modules and this is the application. This is a feature of the uh, application and this is what I'm doing it. And you are missing the core, you know, crux of the explanation that you have to talk about your skills. You have to talk about your testing roles and responsibility that what exactly you're doing it over here. Maybe he or she, the interviewer is not interested about your uh, the project modules and the features, what kind of application you have. Some people, they started, okay, we have admin feature, we have this feature. Um, maybe I'm not interested in that particular area. If the specific domain, let's say you're coming from Amazon, I'm hiring for Walmart, you're coming from Uber and I'm hiring for Ola. So maybe in that case, I can, we can have some separate discussion and interaction with respect to app and feature and uh, something like this, we can do that. But uh, at a time of interview, at a time of technical interview, someone SZ2 or SZ3 or developer is taking your interview. People are majorly interested towards your uh, skill set, right? So let's come to the point immediately after that, guys. Do not explain unnecessary things for 5-10 minutes about your project like that. People, they will get bored and they will be losing the interest, okay, in your interview in that case. So that is the personal advice I really want to give that. Now, what I have done that uh, I prepared some basic notes that... Uh, how to explain about the current roles and responsibility about the project for two years experience guy, five years experience guy, six years experience guy or eight years or 10 years or 13 years uh, like that. So I've categorized, okay, in that way only. So uh, let's see a fresher or maybe a two years or three years experience guy. Let's make the maximum, the fresher range is around or uh, very less experience candidate is around having zero to two years or two or two to three years around that. And let's see, I'm the guy uh, who is the candidate and someone is asking this question, okay, Naveen, tell me what exactly you're doing, where exactly you're working and tell me your experience in terms of testing or maybe in terms of test automation. So how will you, uh, how will you do that? <clears throat> okay, so I'll start like that. So I'm the candidate. So as it start like that, okay, good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. This is Naveen here. And uh, uh, I'm having around two plus years of experience in the industry. And this is my current company. This is my current project. My current roles and responsibility majorly into all the testing activities. Uh, I recently joined this particular company or maybe two years back, I joined this particular company and then uh, I'm majorly involved with all the test execution, writing the test cases over there and then executing at a time of a sprint feature, at the time of a feature testing, at a time of a regression testing. And sometimes I do uh, automation also. So my job is convert those manual test cases into automation when it's ready. Or if you are not involved in the, let's see, the framework designing part, you can simply say that, yeah, I'm involved with the test case automation part. The libraries are already created by someone and then my seniors or maybe the test automation architect and we are following that and we are writing the test cases on the basis of that. And then I'm also involved sometimes in execution and publishing the report for the test execution. And then I'm regularly part of my sprint of feature testing. My daily job routines are, uh, you know, uh, attending the sprint calls. Uh, stand up calls and sprint meetings and part of the sprint planning and everything all the what are the different type of a stream, uh, sprint activities are going on majorly i'm involved into uh, those activities then you can explain about your uh, tools and technologies exposure then you can start with two year experience guy okay i'm having the basic knowledge on uh, how to write the test cases and I'm having pretty much knowledge on quality center rally uh, bugzilla such kind of tools i'm using it in terms of automation i'm having exposure on uh, Selenium WebDriver with Java. Side by side, I'm also learning Python, but I'm majorly inclined towards uh, Java. I'm having uh, some basic exposure on test ng a JUnit also. And then uh, I'm also learning my some backend and API automation also, if you really want to say that. Simple say that I'm having some basic knowledge about a backend APM and then API, uh, REST API automation as well, like that. So you can explain like that and then done. That's it. Should not take more than two or three minutes to explain uh, about the project, about your current roles and responsibility. Please guys, 
do not say about your project modules or application features and then they i think someone is not interested about your application okay until unless they really want to know about the feature and what exactly kind of feature that you are developing but still they are uh, you're interested about the technical aspect and the design and everything about the feature not about the exact feature that you are doing it over here now let's say you are having four plus or maybe five or six years experience guy that could be valid up to seven years okay we can say that then how to explain that then you can start okay hey uh, good morning this is Naveen here i'm having five plus or six plus years of experience in the it industry and then uh, majorly into testing if you are having complete testing background you can say like that okay from the beginning itself that okay i'm into testing field and then uh, uh, uh my current roles and responsibility majorly into i'm taking ownership of the specific module now you have to show the ownership guys because now you are five plus years of experience guy so you have to showcase that okay yeah that uh, you are kind of maybe having the ownership and having that particular uh, complete module under you you are responsible for the testing for that particular area then you can explain like that okay so uh, i'm regularly part of my uh, uh, sprint uh, regular meetings uh, sprint planning and everything and then we have two weeks of a sprint that also okay you can add that same thing you can add uh, two weeks of sprint cycle in your uh, if you are a fresher or two years experience guy also please mention that then in terms of automation yes i'm doing some performance testing also i'm majorly involved into test automation activities and then we are uh, we have the existing framework we are converting our uh, manual test cases whatever we are writing in uh, in our uh, test uh, in our sprint what are the feature test cases that we are writing we are converting them into automation we are using selenium web driver with java we are writing our test cases in test ng and then we did some poc on uh, <clears throat> on cucumber also but majorly we are following the uh, test ng with selenium web driver with java um side by side uh, i'm learning that is my interest i'm learning some other technologies like selenium python and i'm having some basic exposure on selenium with javascript cypress web driver io and the protector also like that you can say that i'm just giving you all the options if you have these options in your bucket you can explain accordingly and manipulate and then change your language accordingly or tool accordingly you can do that in your profile and then you can say that okay yeah that is uh, i'm also part of some basic level of uh, ci cd pipeline and the devops activities where i'm majorly involved with the maintenance of the CACD pipelines and then execution of the test cases and then publishing the report and uh, checking that okay where are the different uh, uh, failures are there investigation and then uh, maintenance of the framework also sometimes we are doing that currently i'm working with my we have automation architect and then we have other team members manual and automation engineers are there and then we are working together for this particular team like that so you can explain to the point crisp about your exp roles responsibility about your ownership about your tools about your uh, uh, other activities like ci cd devops that you're doing it and then done okay this is for five years or seven years experience guy now let's talk about eight plus <clears throat> if you are having eight plus a year experience then obviously that you have to showcase more and more responsibility and ownership thing so let's see i'm naveen once again i'm the candidate and then i'll start so yeah, hi, this is Naveen here. I'm having eight plus years of experience and then majorly I'm involved into test automation activities, but I'm taking care of the entire team also. And if someone is reporting to you, you can say that, okay, there are uh, three people or four people there are directly reporting to me, but I'm behaving and I'm like, uh, I'm uh, working like a test team or uh, test lead over there or automation test lead over there. And then I'm, I have designed this entire framework from the scratch where I have created a lot of utilities. I'm pretty much comfortable with uh, a different type of approaches, different type of framework, design patterns in automation. I'm pretty much comfortable with the <coughs> UI automation, web automation, and the API automation. And then uh, currently working with uh, uh, with Serenity WebDriver with Java or Serenity WebDriver with Python or whatever the language that you are using it. And then you can explain about uh, what kind of quick things that you have developed like in terms of automation. So let's say we have developed the entire framework. We have created some core automation framework, which is being used by a different other team <coughs> in, within the organization. Then I'm part of uh, a testing COE also. I'm handling a particular automation team over there. We have developed uh, certain utilities at the company level. So I'm pretty much comfortable with designing the framework from the scratch. And please add this line. In fact, you can add this line for uh, five years experience guy also that I'm pretty much comfortable with existing framework and comfortable with designing the framework from the scratch also because you never know you are joining a company where um, framework is not there so you have to design the framework from the scratch or framework is already there then you can say that okay i'm having a really quick learner thing and i'm a quick learner and then i can uh, understand the framework quickly i have really good debugging skills 
and then I can debug the code and I can understand the things and uh, and then I can get used to with the uh, with the uh, with the framework with the product as soon as possible like that. So something like this, you can do that. And then I'll tell you one thing that I used to follow when, you know, when I used to uh, give the interviews in the market that I say that, okay, I'm, I'm a quick learner. I don't want any kind of a spoon feeding. I just want to explore. Uh, if you have any documentation, definitely I would like to go through it. And then I would like to uh, explore about the product and test automation and the test cases. I don't want any kind of a spoon feeding over there. And then I really want to be productive as soon as possible. It gives a very positive impact you know, or the interviewer that, okay, yeah, this guy is a quick learner. And then we really don't need to spend much amount of time on his uh, training and other things and spoon feeding, uh, you know, to make him uh, productive as soon as possible. So this guy is always ready. And this guy is having that sense and the maturity level, it's clearly shown over there like that, guys, you can do that. <clears throat> then let's talk about a 10 plus or maybe 11 or 12 plus years experience guy where you are working like a might be a manager or might be a senior lead or maybe staff engineer or principal engineer where the 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 you know the criteria is quite uh, huge in terms of uh, responsibility so you can say that okay yeah this is uh, Naveen here i'm having uh, 10 plus years of experience currently i'm working with uh, uh, walmart and then uh, whatever the xyz company i'm just taking some random name because my previous to previous company was walmart so you can say like that and then um, Majorly, I'm involved into uh, test automation activities and then taking the responsibility for the te entire testing activities. Also, we have the coverage around 70 to 80 percent of the automation in the current uh, in the current team where exactly I'm involved. But we are trying to uh, improve the coverage. But still, we are doing some uh, function testing. Also, we have uh, around uh, uh, whatever the number you have 300 400 test cases that we are running daily basis through automation and then other files other than that i'm involved in some other activities also in terms of other projects i'm handling the entire coe also like that and this is the entire framework that we have designed some core framework that we have designed in terms of automation in terms of uh, uh, mobile automation in terms of ui automation and the back-end automation i'm taking care of that thing and then uh, my major roles and responsibility to interact with the team and whatever the bugs are coming for the automation uh, fix those bugs and then provide the new features uh, and then uh, provide the new features, taking care of the artifacts, taking care of the Nexus location, taking care of the CICD pipeline. And I'm completely responsible for my infrastructure setup also. We have complete uh, execution infrastructure setup on AWS like that, you can say that. And I'm taking care of those things. So it gives that, okay, yeah, you have a, a you know, wider area of exposure in terms of tools, technologies, and the responsibilities also as a lead, as a manager, you are uh, doing it over there. If you really want to mention that, okay, yeah, there are around uh, five team members or six team members, they are directly reporting to me. I'm the reporting manager. And if you are a technical person, you can say that, okay, yeah, I'm still writing the code. I love to write the code, I'm still designing the components, but majorly I'm designing in terms of libraries, in terms of components, not at the test case level. The test case uh, ownership is taken, uh, taken care by other team members. I'm majorly involved in the designing part like that. And then the all the sprint thing and all those things, it will remain, uh, it will remain same like that. Other than that, you can add some extra flavor that I'm also part of, uh, uh, you know, other testing activities in the, within the organization like tech talks, QA tech talks, QA meetups, certain things that, okay, uh, QA guilds, we perform certain things. We do that in the current, uh, in the current company also, in the current project also, or current organization also. So. Uh, it's not about only about the project, but what exactly you are doing at the org level, at the company level like that. And then if you really want to add some extra flavor like performance engineering or maybe security, if you have some basic exposure, you can definitely uh, uh, definitely say that like that. Okay, so these are the things guys that uh, uh, please take care of it. Do not explain too much about uh, everything that what kind of framework you are using, what kind of classes and files you are using. No need to tell that. And someone is asking about, okay, tell me about yourself. You simple say that, okay, yeah, currently this is my name. Currently I'm working in this particular company. I'm uh, right now, I'm in Bangalore right now, whatever you want to say like that, in which city that, okay, you are. And uh, this is, uh, I'm having total years of experience in the industry. And this is my current company. Before that, I was working with like, let's see, Walmart, Cisco, and some other product companies and other startups like that. You don't need to tell about your uh, first company that you joined 10 years back. And some people, what they do that, okay, it doesn't look good. Sometimes that you start from the beginning, from the first company in 2008, then 2010, then 2012, 13, 15, 16, like that. 
you don't need to tell all the other companies it's already written on your resume so they are already having the access on your resume they will just check it over there just say look okay, currently i'm working that and this is my expo uh, experience in terms of other companies i was working with that and now this is where i am like that okay you don't need to tell about why do you want to change until unless they don't ask you that make it very simple very crisp to the point clear cut that's it no need to explain about uh, uh, you know about the about the team or about the project until unless they don't ask you then they might ask you that okay okay tell me about the team size then you can say that okay we have a uh, 10 team members in the okay in my current project uh, let's see five qa four, uh, seven developer or oh, sorry uh, five developers are there like that you can accordingly some uh, some proportionate you can do that and then you can explain accordingly uh, like that okay so i think uh, these are the things i really wanted to cover guys it's very small thing that it's not you know big thing i know you guys are better than me sometimes no doubt about it but uh, what i see a pattern okay from last few months that everybody is uh, you know the first impression is the last impression everybody is uh, uh, you know not that good at a time of uh, the first question to tell me about yourself or maybe uh, tell me about your current roles and responsibility and the project like that so one thing tell me about yourself maybe we can prepare a separate video for that you can quickly mention that about your name about your city and no need to tell that okay that was my college that was my school that was my uh, you know different cities i traveled and or something like this okay it's no need to tell all those things guys just to the point one or two 30 40 seconds you just need to take it and that's it okay so i think uh, that is my opinion what you think about it maybe you want to add some extra flavor in that definitely please feel free to do that okay so thank you so much guys i have already prepared one very lengthy video around one year back or two years back how to explain about the project and responsibility this video uh, link you will get it over here and then i'll give in the uh, description also you just go and check it over there and watch that complete video okay thank you so much guys please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get a notification for the next video and uh, let me know if you have any interesting topic to cover like that uh, definitely i would be happy to cover that till then take care bye bye and happy new year once again